Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to talk about yellowing tomato leaves in high heat. For the last 10 days we've had 85 degree weather with high humidity. Today the heat index got up to 100 degrees. Yesterday it was 95 degrees. And we're always concerned when our tomato plants get yellow leaves. I want to show you a yellowing pattern that's really due to the high heat. These are about one, two, let's see, six, seven tomato plants I have in here. And you can see yellowing leaves. The leaves are starting to yellow sort of as a group down there. They're cut up, they're beat up. But they're starting, um, just I want you to notice that they're starting at the bottom, somewhat in the midsection. And it's a lot of yellowing. This came on really quickly. It started yesterday and it's getting worse today. This plant looks pretty good. Just on a side note, these little specks of damage are really from the spraying that I did. So whenever you spray a plant, even if you're familiar with the spray, make sure you test spray it on different plants. Different tomatoes have different ability to really kind of deal with sprays. Same thing in here. These marks are from the baking soda spray. This plant is, is turning yellow and you can see in the lower leaves in the center section. When you come around here, my uh, Brandywine Red is doing the same thing. Massive yellowing, and that's a good sign actually. When your plants turn, really uh, get this much yellow, this isn't really from a disease. It's from the high heat. Tomatoes will go into a survival mode where they will drop leaves, they will drop flowers. So if you ever see the flowers dropping on your plants, that's usually because a high heat comes. Same thing, lower leaves, middle section. And there's a pattern. The yellowing is all coming really in the same area. Sort of a massive yellowing. Back there you can see that they're browning. Now when a plant leaf gets yellow, you're going to start seeing brown spots on there. That could be a disease, but the healthy leaves aren't really going to get, get that. It's the weaker leaves that may get something on there. But what you're really trying to do, and what I really want to uh, make the, the point of this video is to be that these massive yellowing leaves, when you have 90, 95, 100, 100 degree temperature, is really from the heat. And it's nothing to worry about. What do you do? How do you treat it? You make sure that you've been watering your plants regularly. These have been watered. You make sure you're feeding them regularly. That way you know that it's not a nutritional issue. These have been fed. You can also spray an antifungal on there just to be safe. But don't spray an antifungal uh, in the middle of the day when the temperatures are 90 degrees plus. This would be something you want to do towards the end of the evening and just spray your plant down. Give it enough time to dry before you know the night comes. Just again on another side note, this is red Russian kale and these are seed pods. I'm growing uh, this to seed so that I have my own seed next year for the uh, red Russian kale. So just to recap, yellowing leaves with this intensity right in there you can see how they're yellowing quickly, they're browning out. That is really from a weather factor not from early blight, not from a leaf spot, but just from this intense heat. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.